Hi, I'm Dennis Moreland with Dennis Moreland Tack, and today we're going to talk about slobber straps and a makati on a snaffle bit, and it's a it's a unique setup. Uh, the slobber straps give you instant release when you pull on your colt and release it releases instantly and they can feel that release now i'll take this bridle off and show you how to attach the slobber straps and the makati rein to your snaffle bit and now we're in on the table and we're going to install the makati to the snaffle bit using the slobber straps and lay your bit down just like it would be on a horse this being the right side take one of the slobber straps take the tail of your makati and go from the outside to the inside Thread it all the way down. And when we've got about eight or ten inches left, go under the bottom and over and underneath there. Pull that down real snug, and your your tassel and your tail is always sticking down. Then put your other slobber strap on, and just like we did there, we go from the inside. To the outside and we're going to pull this down and this is where you decide on the length of your rein and you can even adjust it after you get it on the horse um, i like about arm's length uh, it's personal preference and then your tail piece goes under the bottom and through this loop right there. And pull it down snug and your you're ready to go put it on your horse. Both your pop, your tail with the tassel and your lead line are coming out the bottom of your slobber strap. Join us next time as I put the snaffle bit with the makati and slobber straps on a horse and show you what to do with your makati lead line. Thank you for watching the video and hope it's been some help. For more tips and to take a look at some of the country's finest handmade tack, log on to dmtac.com.